All right, guys. So for some of you, at least for me, this has been a moment I've been waiting for for a long, long time. Um, we are actually going to start putting up the walls, the corrugated metal walls. Um, I think you're going to be shocked by the transformation. If you remember in our last semi video, we got our corrugated metal panels in. We got them all cut to where they need to be. So now we need to install them. Now, I went back and forth trying to figure out the best way to do this. You know, do I install these first? Do I wait until the frames with the cross braces are done and then, you know, cut these to be inset into the frames or do I just, you know, plaster the whole wall with them and then put the frames on top. I decided to do that. Um, put these, attach these on the wall and then put the frames on top. I think it'll be a nice cleaner look. It's gonna be a lot easier to, um, to install all that stuff. So the frames and the cross bracing um, is coming very, very soon. But for right now, we're gonna get these installed. And we're gonna install them just the way they did back on stage one at Universal back in the 80s. So trust me, I don't think you're gonna to wanna to miss this one. All right, so before we can put the panels on the wall, I've got a little bit of a mess to clean up. I gotta get this stuff out of the way so we have all the room we need for the panels. So all the stuff that's in here is, you know, related to the semi, like these are original pieces of uh, one of the interior walls, original Dorsey from 1978. These were in the trailer during Film Me a Night Rider. These panels were cut. They um, were not suitable for reuse, so we replaced it. We've got some panels here. We're gonna do something really cool with these, um, I think, as soon as we get a chance. So, um, you know, watch for that at some point soon. So let's go ahead, get this stuff moved back here. There's just so, so much that we need to move. So let's get the ladders out of here. Actually, maybe we'll just put that ladder in the middle for now. Cardboard with an old script on the back side that I used for a previous episode. Um, and see, the problem is I've got to move all this stuff out of the entire back half of the trailer because these corrugated metal walls need to go on the entire back half. All right, so we got all that and then I just gotta figure out a place to put this guy. All right, so when we're done here, everything from this divider over corrugated metal. We're gonna attach it the same way they did back in 1982 when they built the sets, drill a hole, rivet it to the wood. That's how they did it, um, I think that's how they did it in the actual trailer as well. So let's go ahead and get started. This first one is the most important because 
we've got to make sure it's about level. Unfortunately, the um, E-Track here makes it fairly easy to figure out what, what uh, level is. So, all right. Now, if I could just reach my... So what we're gonna do to start is we're just gonna put one rivet in the center here. I'm gonna go the whole way down, get them all installed, and then we'll go through and put rivets on the top, rivets on the bottom, similar to how they were done on the show. So here we go. Rivet number one. <sighs> all right, we're all done. Thanks for watching. Nah, just kidding. Hey, so easy. River number one in, like I said, another one at the top, another one at the bottom. And I'm splitting this right down the middle, which is what I wanted. Um, and once we get the frames in, the frame will cover the edges completely and it'll be a nice, nice finished look. So with that said, let's grab panel number two. There's, I believe, 16 panels per side that we have to do. So at this rate, might go pretty quick. Let's see here. There we go. Actually, what I should do is secure this first panel completely because it's a little wobbly. So let's do that. So yeah, let's get this. There we go. That'll definitely help keep it where it needs to be. Well, normally I would get a ladder, but who needs a ladder? Beautiful. All right. Now we're, now we're in business. So make sure this is all where it needs to be. It is. Before I started this video, I marked where these rivets need to go so they're nice and even across the way. See, this is, this is the fun and rewarding part of this whole restoration whenever you can actually see, see it come together, right? I mean, or when you can throw your rivet Riveter on the gun ground. That's fine too. That's fine too. Okay. There we go. Let's go get another panel. We're gonna have this done in no time. Panel number three. <sighs> Rivet number three. So 
Something is in the back seat. Mama's home hungry. Oh. A little bit of a, there we go. Gotta keep it looking nice, otherwise Bonnie will be mad. Nobody wants Bonnie yelling at you. Next. All right, so this one panel is just the hair. Needs a little trim to fit under the uh, cross member there. So fortunately it doesn't matter because this will all be hidden by the um, metal frame and cross member, or cross X bars. There we go. Spent so, so much time trying to figure out uh, what these panels were, trying to find them. Then it's very satisfying to finally have them in hand and getting them installed. All right. All right, so at this point, you're probably tired of me installing these slowly, so maybe we'll do a time lapse. Beautiful. Beautiful.
All right. One more. We're going to save these last end pieces for later because those are going to require some special attention. Let's get this last one in here. Oh, yeah. These fit together so nicely. So, so nicely. Just like that. Look at that. Now, of course, like I said, I still have to do rivets on the top, rivets on the bottom. But, you know, I knew this trailer when the, when the um, Todd Co. guys came to install this door, they were commenting how square this trailer is, which was amazing for a 40 year old trailer built in 1978. Normally tolerances and stuff like that are a little less precise as they are now but this trailer was dead on square and let me show you You remember how we started way back there and i lined up the first panel halfway between the um and the vertical e-track so it was it was definitely vertical putting all these on look i don't know if you can see but you follow this edge and it's perfectly vertical the whole way up that's so so awesome just, let's just take a minute and picture those cross members in here. Now, I do have one surprise for you. If there's anything that could be better than one corrugated wall, it's two. <laughs> yeah, I did this a couple days ago and it turned out amazing. This one is fully installed, all the rivets in. But just look, you stand here, you can picture Kit driving in with those sides done. And honestly, you know, I wasn't sure about the color. This is heritage gray. I wasn't sure about the color, but once I got these in here and installed, we'll see what it's like when there's lights here, but I think this is like a really, really close color match to what was in the actual semi. So there you go. So let's go ahead, just for fun. Let's step back here so you kind of get the full view. How awesome, how, how awesome is this? Let's wait till we get those frames and cross braces on. That will be coming very, very soon. Well, that's all we have for today. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this progress on the semi. If you have, be sure to like this video and share it with some friends. It's getting exciting. I keep saying that in every video, but it gets more and more exciting as we continue to build out the semi. Um, and we're so grateful that you guys are here with us on this journey. The next semi video I suspect is going to be putting up those cross braces over the corrugated metal panels, which I think is going to be absolutely amazing. So you're definitely, definitely not going to want to miss that. I also wanted to thank all of you guys who have so graciously donated to the semi project. We couldn't do it without your financial help. Um, special shout out to the people who donated for um, these cross braces, this back panel. 
uh, these back panels. It's been absolutely amazing. And for those of you who have donated to get your name on the semi donation wall plaque, which is, um, going to be absolutely amazing. We're still accepting donations, by the way, if you are interested, there's a link down in the description below. All right, guys, there's the semi on this beautiful sunny morning. Maybe we'll get it painted one day soon. But until then, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Hello friends, it's me, Kit. When I'm not out fighting crime, I like to follow my friends at nightriderhistorians.com. Check it out. <laughs>